Let's put together some hanging baskets for the shade garden today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ray here from Horticulture Geek, and thank you so much for joining me today in the garden. Um, I am putting together some of my hanging baskets for the shade garden, and I thought I would bring you guys along to see what's going on. Now, this is part of the big plant haul that I bought a few weeks ago, and I'm finally getting around to getting these things put in the baskets. Um, and this one um, is going to be me mixing and matching my own plants in the baskets. So let me set the camera up and show you what we're working with and what's going in these baskets. And I hope it will inspire you to maybe get out and put something together for your shade garden. All right, let me flip the camera around. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we are working on the back of the famous tailgate again. Um, and this is the hanging basket that we're gonna be working with today. Um, and as you can see, it is a chicken wire basket, just a decorative basket there. And I have a decorative insert that goes inside of it. All this is is a cocoa liner insert that has been wrapped in an outdoor waterproof fabric. Um, I picked this up at Joann's Fabrics in their little gardening section. Um, and I picked this up last fall on the clearance section because these didn't sell during the regular season and they were 75% off. So I grabbed several of these. So that's what we're going to be planting in today. The other thing I'm going to be adding to this basket, which you've seen in a couple videos before, is our basket well. All right. So this is what turns any basket that you have into basically a self-watering container. Um, it holds water in this reservoir, allows roots to drink through the mesh. Um, and so therefore you don't have to water your baskets as often as you normally would. So let me get this lined up and clicked back in place. And then this just goes down in our basket. All right, time for the soil. All right, and I am going to be putting biotone starter fertilizer in this soil because again, these are flowering annuals for the summertime. They're going to need a lot of food to stay in full flower all the time. All right, we're going to mix that in. All right, so for my centerpiece of this pot, I've actually chosen two angel wing begonias. So here's our first one. And here is the second one, and it's an orange. And this is Encento Orange, if you can see that. And so together, these are going to form a centerpiece. I thought that the orangey with the pinky would just be fun together. Um, and so when you're dealing with a shade basket or a shade container, um, you know, this, it can already tend to go into a darker area. And so I tend to like bright colors in my shade containers for that reason, so that we can liven it up, make it feel warm and sunny. All right, now around these begonias, I have these and I have some impatience. And just for an added pop and an added foliage texture, I'm also going to be putting in some caladium bulbs. So just four of these. So I'm going to be putting four caladium bulbs, four impatience, and four of these. And the name of these is escaping me at the moment. I'll, I'll try to flash it on the screen if I remember. Gosh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyhow, so shade love implant. So um, let me find, here's 
All right, there's one. So I'm just gonna kind of put these palladiums in the four corners. If, if a round basket had corners. So you just kind of envision it for yourself. Okay. Now let me plant these up. And that's all there is to this one. So let's get it in place, get them watered in, and I'll show you the end result. All right, so here we have the three finished baskets. So we can get up close and look you can see here that all three are the same so here we have that orange begonia and then here is this pinky one um whoo sorry camera going to space this is a terenia or a wishbone flower that's the flower i couldn't remember a second ago so it comes in lots of different colors so there's a pink with white there's just the white, there's a purple with white, or a lavender with white. There's a dark purple with white. So there's those, and then there's impatience. And I have a pink impatience, a different pink. Um, let's see, that's a white one. So just different colors. So impatience, terenia, begonias, and I will have caladiums that'll pop up and those caladium leaves will spill over. So all of these flowers get rather large. So I'm hoping that by the end of the summer, these will just be massive balls of flower and foliage back here. But I'm gonna have to stay on top of my fertilizing to keep them going. But I think they're gonna enjoy this spot here. And I think they look good. And yes, that is a different basket if some of you may notice. So I've got two of the chicken wires and then one just a standard, but the liners are all the same. So there we have it. All right, and I still have some more impatience to plant. <laughs> but the shade garden is coming right along, guys. It's looking really good. Well, that was a quick video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know when I did that, um, plant haul video i said that i would show you um, planting things up so i wanted to show you those three baskets coming together i hope you enjoyed it um you know and so just remember have fun with your baskets so i know on one video i did the other day i got a pre-done basket and put it in my own container these i made my own con combinations so whatever your comfort level is whatever you feel like doing maybe you don't have time to walk up and down the garden center aisles and pick three or four or five different plants that you think look nice together um, and buy those and bring them home and plant them. Maybe you just wanna run into the garden center or a big box store, buy a hanging basket already done and plop it into your own pretty basket. Either way, it's completely fine. Um, and so, but like with me, like I did here with these where I made my own combinations, I literally just went through the garden center and I found things that I thought were pretty and I started holding them next to each other. And I just kind of felt like all those things would look nice together. 
Um, but I like wild, colorful things. Um, and again, like I said, you know, that's kind of a dark looking corner back there. So I'm hoping that when those baskets flush out, that there'll just be a bright pop that will draw you back there into the shade area. So we'll see how it turns out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it has been inspiring to you. Maybe you learned something along the way. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, put it down below and we'll get a conversation going in the comment section. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, but until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.